Happy Friday night. Happy Friday night. I just got a message that um, Nancy and Lynn Ann are in Sarasota having dinner. So I don't know if I'll see them later or tomorrow. But um, anyway, so that's that's good. They safely made it. And then I think tomorrow morning they pick up uh, Lynette from Charm Grammy. Okay, let's get down to business. First of all, I feel better. Um, it was a very stressful week, um, very emotional. Um, Sarasota has been my home away from home since the mid-1960s. That's when my parents moved to Sarasota. And I've seen it grow up over the past, what, 40, 50 years? 50 some years, 60 years, whatever it is, and um, and to to see it, to see what human, what Mother Nature can do to destroy the beauty of this place. But I have faith that it will, it will um, survive. In fact, I got a notice today that one of the restaurants at St. Armand Circle. Um, is open. So that is really good news. Uh, that's, yes, tomorrow would have been the start of our weekly uh, vacation over at Lido Beach. But they canceled on us because the house um, had some damage and it has to be repaired. So um, we're not going to reschedule that. We're just going to um, just get a refund. It's hard when you have 15, 16 people to work out a timing because I know I, I tried to do it for a year and I would say that more than 70, at least 75% of the people that were committed to come at the beginning are no longer coming. It's a whole different, you know, I had to find other people that would like to come. So yeah, so we won't do that again. I won't do that again. I won't do the house. I think um, I'd like to plan another cruise. I think the cruise was fun. We all got together at dinner every night, except when you had nights that you're that you were going to do a specialty dinner, you know. Um, but yeah, I think I'll plan a cruise that way. I don't have to deal with money. I don't have to deal with you know getting the place and coordinating everything and worrying about food and, and so on and so forth. So I think what I'm going to do is just um, plan a cruise for maybe next year. So we'll go from there. Let's see. Okay, I thought maybe that was Nancy, but it's not. It's not. So anyway, let's get down to business. So while I was trying to get uh, myself together, um, I really think it was shock. It was uh, stress. It, I could feel it in my chest that whole week, uh, at least for the first four or five days. And then seeing the devastation of what the hurricane did to, I call my home. My sister was without uh, um, without uh, electricity for a week, so now I think she's she has it back, so that's good. And uh, so she ended up staying at a friend's and at my other sister's house, and and uh, just having fun. <laughs> her her probably her her thing of fun is being home, like my thing is too. I like being home. So anyway, so now she and I have the cruise to look forward to for my 80th birthday in February. If any of you want to go on, want want to go on the cruise and be there the same week, let me know and I'll give you the information. But yeah, so I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um. So yeah, so that's enough of that. I'm really sorry that we didn't get together. I was looking forward to meeting a lot of well, all of the girls for sure, and I'm very disappointed that it didn't uh, didn't pan out. Um, 
due to Mother Nature. I'm still drying out here, and I want people to know that I've been very, uh, I don't know if it's proactive or, I've been so adamant with the management about the situation here with my windows. And I told you they sent, I call them, there's two maintenance guys here, freaking frat. Neither one speaks English. Um, and then there's another another maintenance person that's their boss. And I would say that none of them are professionally um, educated in one area. So um, I call them freaking frats. So the frat comes. And he went and he caulked around the window. Just no cleaning it, no scraping it, nothing. He just caulked the windows, put paint on a top of it, and then left. And that was in both windows. So what happened in the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the living room window, is that where he had caulked, there was pockets of water holding up in there. You know, like a, like a, bad pimples <laughs> so I popped them so we get the water out of it so it would dry and then in here in the craft room the glass has separated from the the um, you know the, the frame so the window is away from the frame so the whole time that that wind was howling and Water was pouring in. I went and I stuffed rags all all the way down. And then I turned around, come back, and the wind had blown those rags right out. So, And I just noticed now, I think there's a crack in this window, which is probably caused from the wind. I'll have to check. I will check that, though, after I get off with you guys. So anyway, don't think that I haven't done anything. We have done that. And... There's a new law that was passed, and, and the other thing is I went to FEMA. Yep, I went to FEMA. Uh, I talked to somebody. From, I sent them a, a note. I got a call from FEMA, and the only problem is is they don't do anything for rentals. It has to be management, and this management doesn't even take care of the building when it isn't, and if anybody wants to know, it's Willow Creek Apartments in Port, Port Charlotte. Where am I? Northport, Florida, and they're on Pan American, and it's the worst maintenance um, apartments I've ever lived in in all my years, and I've lived in a lot of apartments, and this has taken the cake, I'll tell you. So anyway, I haven't done anything this week. I wanted to get my blood pressure back to normal, and it is. I'm, I'm calm now, so I think come Jan. January, come uh, Monday, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to have a sit down. But I wanted to do it so that not every other word would be a cuss word, because that's how I felt. You know, I felt like Row. the devil was there, baby. He he wanted to just come out and just say things. Because this is um, not good for our health at all. So I'm praying that it doesn't rain anymore until I want a new window. I want a new window. I want the, and you can see where the leak, the, where he caulked and everything is all peeling down. Oh, it's just, anyway, that's the end of that. We won't talk about it anymore. Um but don't think I don't sit. I don't sit here, and I have had them in here. I have sent messages. I have reported it to FEMA, uh, and they told me that if I had a beef to call the state attorney's office, and I even called like Morgan and Morgan and these other. Uh, they won't touch it. They won't touch it, and it's HUD subsidized. I've sent letters to HUD. I've sent letters to the owners. But here's the best part is I found the owners finally, and it goes it goes um, this, it was an LP limited partnership, and there are three names on the limited partnership. Okay, these three partner these three guys work for a company out of Texas, 
and Marriott bought that company. So Marriott is the owner of this property. Unless something transpired between the last my last read and this, Marriott bought out. I think it was Treadwood or Twe Tread something. Um, I wrote it down on a piece of paper and actually signed this piece of paper. And I'm gonna have to do all my research over again, but at least now I know where to go. But up uh, and it is a foreign limited partnership. The, the, of the three dudes that are on the limited partnership, one of them lives in Washington, D.C., and he's the one that is responsible for the um, rentals. So I did call that number. There was no answer, and there was no answer machine. So um, I have to do all my research again, and I'll maybe I'll start from the top and move down because the management company – doesn't release any information about anything. So they're all hush-hush about it. Like, what? So I don't know. I just don't know. And I'm sure if there's any unkind reviews, they take them down. I'm, I'm positive of it. Because whenever I write, uh, send, um, that there's requests. You know, they, they have a, a website where you send in a request for this, that, and the other. I sent in my, and then I go back to see the history. It's gone. They deleted it. So, yeah, they deleted it. It's not very smart. Uh, but I have copies of it. I do screenshots. Yes, I do. Okay, now let's get down to business. And the business is Boggy Creek Blanket. So while I was recuperating, I didn't do anything but sit and make blankets. It was my... My calming place. And I figured do something that you like that's calming, that you don't have to worry about, you don't have to count. You just make your blankets, Billy. Design your blankets and make them. And that's what I did. So I have quite a few to show. And you're probably saying, what is Boggy Creek? Boggy Creek Camp is a camp for children that have chronic illnesses. And they range, I think, from the age of 7 to 14 or 16, something like that. And when they come to this camp, it's usually, it's all free. It's all free. The kids, there's, um, I think each, uh, let's see, Kimmy said each session is around 150 kids. And each cabin uh, probably holds, I think it's up to 22. And they have, I think, four, I wrote it all down. I think there's 14 uh, cabins. And they have their own facility there, their own clinic, their own doctors, nurses, everything is there. And um, but when they when they go there and they pick their bed, on their bed is a boggy blanket and a boggy bear, and they get to take those home with them. And uh, Kimmy had sent some pictures. Kimmy is like the director of of gathering all this stuff, you know, the blankets and, you know, all that, all that stuff. And she's wonderful. She just loves her kids and she just loves the camp. She's been there a few years. So, um, anyway, they get to take these home and there's certain, uh, sizes and stuff. Usually I have that in the body of the video and you can see that. And, um, so I went and started making blankets, okay? So since Friday, and Friday, what's today? Friday? So it had to be after the hurricane. So it was like Sunday or Monday, I don't remember. But anyway, I'll show you what I have. Now this one, I'm not quite finished with. Um, I'm still working on tying in the ends. You can see all, I had lots of ends. I had laid, this is purple. It's not blue, it's purple. In fact, you can almost see the purple right here. If that, that's purple. But I had laid this out one way, and then when I start putting it together, it came out differently. So this is this is the purple one, and it's purple and white. I had a lot of purple, and I had some white, so I just put those together. And now I'm just tying in the ends. 
I haven't put any appliques on it yet. Um, I really, and you'll see why in just a minute. But I, I just don't have have that many at this time. So anyway, so I thought I'd go ahead and tie the ends. And um, if something comes up and I get some application, if not, it's just purple and white. And I think it's pretty. So I have to do is tie the ends there. So I'm going to put that there. And then I had a lot of red. With that red, I had gotten a lot of hearts, red hearts. So I said, why don't I do a Valentine one and make it red and white? And that's what I did. So here we go. So these are all hearts, red and white heart, except for the middle. And the middle here is a, I guess it's a flower, and it was given to me by Charm Grammy. And so I, uh, it's made out of felt, so that, and I just put it right on there. And then I stuck a green one with a heart. I had that and I whipped it right in there, guys. Look at that. Well, you got to have one little, not everything is perfect. Just like children, they're not all perfect. Like adults, they're not all perfect either. And this blanket is not perfect. It has a green square. So that's, that's this beautiful blanket. I have not showed these on the boggy. Uh, so this will go towards my count of 100, these, these ones I'm showing you now. And then I have some in there that we will show this week. And then the next one I made, I went and got all the Halloween colors, the burgundies and the... And there's a candy corn and there's a pumpkin. other fall colors together. Grays. Is that grays? Yep, grays. So that's a fall one. Candy corn and a pumpkin. I've really been going down on the stash because we haven't been getting mail. But I did get mail today for the first time in what, a week and a half? Okay. Because we had some damages done to, not damages, but some of the post offices were, uh, had issues, that's what I should say. We had to wait for that. The next one is a Christmas one. So I was trying to get all my Christmas ones done, and I put a little, I call this a forward pico. See how it, it, it moves to the side? And you'll probably say, how did you do that, Billy? Well, as I think about it, I could tell you. But it's done with half double crochet. But here's the Christmas one. And right in the middle is a branch. You see that? All right. Okay. There's some more. You might see your viewers in here. But look at that red one. Isn't that pretty? I think I got that last week. Isn't that pretty? And the one above it. I think I got those last week. So I pulled out all my reds and Christmas ones. and made a beautiful Christmas blanket. And then I did another Christmas blanket. These are just regular. What I thought I'd do, it, uh, this is like um, Christmas balls. I made little Christmas balls all around it. Christmas balls, baby. Christmas balls. Do you see? I just did a, like a slip stitch and then I did like uh, little balls. That's it. Okay. And 
then I did a spring one. So I went through and I got I got a lot of these last last week I think. So I just went ahead and uh, did a spring spring had sprung baby. So with the the lime green and the salmon color and this is definitely salmon. And then we got down a little bit to the gold at the bottom. Yeah, I kind of messed up on that, but I only had three, I think. So, anyway. And so this one had, I did, you know, I did a row where you just, you skip two, you know, chain two, and uh, double, half double crochet. And then I put a little, little, where it's, um, a cluster of um, uh, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, um, half double crochet, and then single, and that, and then a little single crochet there. And I make that all the way around. Give it that springy. Spring has sprung. Okay. And then the last one. Now, I know I got these last week. So I got my black. I had a lot of black. And then we got these beautiful squares. Isn't that pretty? Now, I didn't have enough to make the whole blanket that way. But then we brought in some other new colors. And then I put those beautiful ones on the bottom here. Isn't that pretty? I just, I love this. And she sent me, um, she sent me a, uh, the yarn for this, and that's what I put it together with. So I just love this colors. So we got one, two, three. And then this one I'm working on makes seven. Seven in about three or four days. That's not bad. So there we go. So today, um, I forgot my water. Hmm. So today, um, finally my regular mailman came and he brought like three or four boxes. So I put them over here because it's come a little big. So let's start with this one. And I noticed that I got a tracking number like last week, but it didn't get delivered till today. So this is from Tatiana from California. Absolutely. Tatiana, you've been busy, girl. You make all those blankets for every oh my gosh. Ooh. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Look at this. Oops. Oh, Tatiana, I love you. She says, here, she sent me stuff. Especially for you at Christmas. Look at my card. Oops. Especially for you at Christmas. My first Christmas card. Dear Billy, happy upcoming holiday season with special thoughts and warmest wishes for your happiness this year at Christmas. May the coming year be filled with good things for you. Oh, and she put little, like, oh, my daughter Lena and I have made these squares for your Christmas and Easter blankets. Love your blanket. Tatiana from California. Oh, and look, she sent me some stickers. Look. Christmas stickers. Look at that. You know I'm going to put these on things that I, I mail out. You knew that. Look at this. And some more stickers from Santa Claus. Oh, that is so cool. There's like two. Thank you so much, Tatiana. Now let's look and see. Put this up here. Okay. Now let's start with Christmas. Oh, my God. Oh my God! Oh my God! Look at these. Let me see. Let me put these. 
They're all circles. Okay. Look at this. These are all circles. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? These are all circles. Oh, isn't that pretty? And I just used some of this on the one of my Christmas blankets, trying to use them to use all of those. I think I still have some more, too, solid ones that we can mix with these. Oh, my gosh. These are beautiful. Well, thank you, your daughter and you. What was her name? Lena? <laughs> I got to look. I think she said Lena. Yeah, Lena. Oh, Tatiana and Lena. Thank you so much. And then, oh, look at this. These are all white with green circles. Beautiful job. God, you guys are good. You're so good. Let me move this. I'm afraid if I click it, I'll lose you guys. But look at that. Isn't that nicely done? Oh, nicely done. And then we have some red ones. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's going to be a beautiful blanket. Oh, and then the red. Oh, oh, I didn't even see these. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like a blanket, sweetheart. A blanket. Did you see? So we have this. Solid. And then we had the red and the green. Oh my gosh. This is like a whole blanket, Tatiana. You and Lena, just marvelous. Mar I've got one hanging on. <laughs> marvelous. I love it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Let's get this out. And then this is solid red. A great job they've done. Great job. So solid red. Oh my gosh. I might have to get two blankets out of this. And then we have the solid green. It's really dark in here, but anyway. It is kind of dark. That's green. Oh, you can't tell that. Let's put that on top of the red. And then look at these. These are all the same poinsettias. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, Tatiana, I swear you you and Lena have done a beautiful job. Beautiful. I love them to death. That's like two blankets, I think. Oh, that's beautiful. And then she set um, some Colorful ones. Look at these. Look at these. Beautiful color. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. Just, this must be some, I wonder what kind of yarn that is. I'm looking for something like that. I don't yarn shop, so I know nothing about what's out there except what I see on YouTube. <laughs> so that's springy. Thank you. And then she sent a new other bag. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, guys. Oh. Well, I pick up two and then I drop four. I'm sorry. I'm fumble, fumbling, fumbling. I had to up my medication for my pain and, oh, it just... It's the best of me. All right. We have some beautiful solid yellow. I need yellow. I'm bad. Bad, bad, bad. I love yellow. Thank you. So that's for the spring. And then she sent, she made two of these little yellow, yellow ones. And then we have pink. Let's see, four of those. And then we have a couple pink here. Wow, 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 wow. And here's some green. And then we have a couple of the green and white. Right there. And 
then we have some uh, lavender, lilac. That pretty lilac. What a great job, you guys. Oh my gosh. And then we have oh so beautiful. Oh god, I'm just my mind my mind is going crazy. So this is like the salmon color one. Beautiful. Right there. And then we have some blue. Wait to work on these. And then I have, oh, I love this teal color. And I dropped them. I got two teals. Okay. They're pretty. Wow. How marvelous. And then pink. Oh, I love pink. You got the dark pink, and then you have the lighter pink. It's going to be like a beautiful canvas. It's like going to be a canvas, baby. Look at that. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, I was running out. Really, I was running out. I was doing... Next, I, th I said, well, now, what have I got left? And I said, well, I have to do um, green and orange together. I'm so glad y'all came to my rescue. Now we have Tatiana and Lena. Thank you so much. They're all beautiful. Just beautiful. And I can't wait. When I finish this blanket, this is the next ones to go. I Now this came from Connie. Oh, she, she said it. I got a note from her. Connie's from... Um, She's from uh, BC, British Columbia, Victoria, British Columbia, and she said, I, I don't know if she knew this or not, but I do eat Cheerios every morning. S sending you a spoonful of sm smile. Hi, Billy. Here's some Easter spring squares for you. I hope the colors are what you had in mind. Also, some bunny appliques to attach on some squares. Your blankets and, and attention to detail are awesome. Best Best wishes, Connie Paraboom. Paraboom. Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. It didn't take long. I saw the date, but it would have been here a lot sooner if it hadn't been for the uh, Mother Nature. All right, I'll show you these later. Everybody's packing their stuff up so nice. These are beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I have to show you these first. Three little baggies here. And look what they are. Well, let's start out with a pink one. They're little bunnies with little poopy tails on them. There's pink and then there's Yellow. Oh, there's all different colors. And they all have little... Look at this. Isn't this cute? Look at that one. So she made a little circle, and then she went up here and made the little face, and then the little ears. Oh, that's easy. And then put a little poopy tail on it. And they're all different colors. There's orange and green and lilac and purple. Oh, my gosh. They're just adorable. And then there's some more in this in this bag. And then this bag. Wait a This bag. Look at this bunny rabbit. Nice yellow. Teal. Got the little poopy tails. I just love it. This little, and she left this so that it'd be easy for me to to uh, put it. Look at the little pink one. All these little bunny rabbits. Oh, I just love them. So she sent me a whole bag of those. Oh, they're so cute. I just love them. 
my aunt had a bunny rabbit, and she loved that bunny rabbit. She had it for years, and then it got sick and it passed away. Her name was Candy. And I would always, whenever I went over, I could visit with Candy. She was something. I think she just caught a cold or something and wasn't able to take it. Okay, so we have some. I love these. Look, look at these bags. Look. Isn't that cute? They got pink IKEA bags. Look, there's a little flower pot with flowers on it. Aren't they cute? But look at these colors. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, look at that. Beautiful spring. Oh, just beautiful. Well made. Oh, just beautiful. I love them. Kind of goes with those, those, um, I think those other ones. Here's some more beautiful spring ones. Look at those. All different colors. Very pretty. Very pretty. Another spring, another batch of spring. Such a variegation of colors. I love it. I knew the mail was being hung up, but wow, look what it was hung up with. All these beautiful. Oh, beautiful. All kind of beautiful. I might save those bags. <laughs> you never know when you're going to need them. Now we have, oh, we need some yellow. We've got some solid yellow, some solid pink, some solid bluish teal, some green, and a couple of white. Needed, need, 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 need. Man, I was getting low on squares. I got a hundred to make, so, well, I don't, I'll let you know in a minute. I think. I think how much, how many I've made so far. And then I got this box. This came today. There we go. Squeeze it on here. All right. Let's see, I don't know who this is from. Let's see who this is from. Ooh. <laughs> From Sue Gultry, Gul Gulter, from Phoenix, Arizona. You can say my name. I did. I think if you send me a note, I'm going to read it. <laughs> it says, Hi, Billy. I've been watching your YouTube channel for a while, and I subscribed, and I really enjoy your channel. I'm sending you six-inch granny squares, mostly Christmas. I hope you can use them. I haven't crocheted in a while, so my skills are rusty. Along with the squares, I have sent a skein of Red Heart Super Saver white yarn. I need it. I need it. I was on the last one I had today. Um, might... Might this you can use to put a blanket together. I'm sending some fabric for you to use. Thank you for all that you thank you for all that thank you for all that for all that yarn for all that yarn. Sincerely Sue Guthrie. Oh my gosh. But look at this guys. A loop okay. Now this is what I got got from right 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 you right there okay cut that now look at this a 
whole pile. A whole pile. Look at this. I mean, I could make a whole blanket out of just these. I got these and then those. I, I love it. I just love it. Thank you so much. And some of them got white and red and then white. Okay, those are all white. And then beautiful red. Red and green. I mean, just you could just say, oh, I wonder what color I want to use now first. And there's the green. There's the green. White and red. But yes, I've got a ton of these now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Spring has sprung. Some more Christmas ones. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty. Look at this. We got red. And we got a lime green. Whoops. And then we have this pretty, this pretty green. And look at this. We've got white. A lot of white. And this is, some of them have sparkle and some don't. So we got some white. It's heavy. These look almost springy. Let me get this down. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, this is fabric. Wait a minute. Let me pull this out. And we'll look and see what she sent us. Because what she sent me, she sent you. And it looks like, <laughs> look at the bottom. Looks like a little mouse coming in there. I hope he's not in here. <laughs> A little mouse running around. <laughs> oh boy! We got orange and this is color here. Oranges, more yellow. That goes over here with the spring, the sprung. And then I needed this. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Definitely need that. Oh my gosh. And she sent some fabric. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, my gosh. It says, Maywood Studio. I can't tell if that's poinsettia or what, but isn't that pretty? It's red, but isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Oh, let me see. Oh, it looks like Arizona. Look at that, guys. Oh, it's a drape. I think it's a drape. It is. These are drapes. But can you imagine what you could make with those? Aren't they pretty? Well, maybe this is the drape on this side. Yeah, up here. So then it goes down. Look. It looks like Sedona. I love Sedona. I love. I fell in love with Sedona. We spent about two or three days there, maybe four. I can't remember. And we went to the Grand Canyon. I took a helicopter into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Never do that again. This is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. These are beautiful. And they're orange. I love them. I love it. I love them. I've, I've used, you know, the sheets and um, all kinds of stuff. Beautiful. Oh, let's see. Oh. Isn't 
little bird. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I take scraps. I'm going to do something with scraps as soon as I get caught up again. Pretty. I have it, um, when the girls come, I'm going to have them plug up my machine. The wires are under there. I can't get under the table, so they'll have to get them for me. And then we got some blue. The pretty flowers, blue flowers. It's all silky, silky, silky. Oh, this is nice. Flowers. It's like a brown, dark brown backup. Is that background? Pretty. A lot in here. You hit my heart when you send me fabric. That's where my heart is. Ooh, I, I see, I see kitties. I see kitties. Ooh, this looks like, uh, what's his name? Oh, he makes purses. Let me see if it's him. Samuel Birch. Yep, Samuel Birch. He makes great purses, too. You see the kitties on there? Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Oh, thank you so much. And then we have black with the little flowers on it. this. Oh, I like this. Isn't that pretty? It's almost like point, uh, um, what do you call it? Hibiscus. I don't know the difference, but it's not, it looks like hibiscus. It could be. Or just the flower. It's a lot of that. Thank you. Ooh, I like this too. Ooh, I love this. Look at the flowers on this one. Ready? Wow. Well, thank you so much. This is all wonderful. And all my, I think that's it. Any more? Nope, that's it. I do have some damn it dolls over there, but we'll do that later. Right now, I just, it's 47 minutes. I better, um, let me see where my phone is. Let's see what the girls are going to do. I think they'll probably stay in Sarasota. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, I feel like I have died and gone to heaven with all my beautiful appliques, all my beautiful. I mean, if I got a ton of these, I've just got a ton of these. Look at this. They're all just everywhere. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll get this Christmas one going. And we've got the bunnies. And we put those with the pinks. And, oh, just so much. Thank you all so much. And thank you, too, for, the, for all the... The fabric, you know, I love fabric. I love, love fabric. And uh, and this week, the weather is supposed to be like in the 70s and low 80s. It would have been the best week to come to Florida. But not for, you know, I'm not expecting um, too much. It's just we're working at it slowly but for surely. Okay, everybody, I guess I'm I'm finished. Um, I did have something I wanted to read to you, but I don't know where that have where that came from. I don't even know where it is. But thank you. Thank you for the oh for the squares and for the the fabric appliques. I'm just so excited. I was just getting to a point, you know, I got this purple one to finish up and then I could to Put together the next maybe two three four here 
I remember I got to get a hundred. Let me see. I had. Um, let me see if I. I wrote it down in a little book. The question is, what little book I put it in? I don't think it was this one. <laughs> Maybe it was this one. I love the old stern. Uh, these old pads. I love these. I don't think it's in this one. No, it could be. I don't think so. Oh, it is. Okay, so what I've showed on the the blanket brigade um, is fifty. I have fifty nine. Fifty nine. So I'm forty one away. So I have the ones in there and these. That should put me about sixty nine seventy. Well, I got more than a lot in there. So I think I'd be close to um, say 16 would put me at 70, so I would have like 30 more to go. So keep up, keep the squares coming, everybody. Keep them coming. Uh, Christmas, um, St. Patrick's Day didn't work out too good, so we'll take St. Patrick's Day out. Put Easter spring in there. Easter slash spring. Um, or in summer, and then Halloween, and Christmas. And now that we've, we'll have, I might have enough blankets. I might have, I'm pretty sure I have more than 50% of these are Christmas. So I probably have a cabin of Christmassy ones. I don't want to take them out of bags and recount them all, but if I have to, I will. The girls will be here. Maybe they can help me. But we could separate the Christmas from the from the other ones and just see. So I'm going to be pretty close. And I've got all of November, all of December, all of January, and maybe February. So please keep the squares coming. I want six-inch squares. Now, I got a whole bag together last night for Lynn Ann. She does five-inch squares. And she'll do... If fun colors, just fun little appliques on there, um, anything like that that will win a child's heart. So uh, she got some beautiful ones in today, and I've got um, I've got some a, a bag of five around five inches for her, so she can add to her stash. Um, I did try to to incorporate them into some of my six inch ones but it threw the whole thing off so I just discontinued using the five inch so I, I just want six inches so uh, I'm going to pass those on to Lynn Ann this weekend and um, to keep her busy making blankets so geez almost an hour and I really haven't even talked about much um, here oh 16 there's two to three counselors per cabin, and there's they have about 10, 10 to 15 per cabin. I misspoke. 10 to 15 per cabin. That's what they have with two counselors, and they have 16 cabins. So that's the way it works. So if you got 10 kids and you got 16, so you you're talking almost 100. And, 60, 150 kids. So that's great. That's wonderful. I'm getting tired all of a sudden. I did take a shower. <laughs> oh, and I got my candy corn earrings in that was given to me a couple, two or three years ago. So I wear them every Halloween with my oranges. Okay, everybody, I think I'm going to go and leave you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. And I saw that uh, Chevy has a, a new um, podcast out today. So go and watch her and all the other wonderful podcasters that we have. And uh, I'm not much in for, it seems like whenever I want to follow, uh, do one of these, um, you know, we're, Everybody's doing, oh, the dishcloths. Like, I want to do the dishcloths. I got the book. 
but I find out that I'm making I make it since I have committed myself to a hundred blankets. I've committed myself to that, and I haven't been able to step away to do anything else. Because then when I'm doing something else, I think I should be making blankets. And we only have a couple more months, two or three more months. So then I'll get on the bandwagon on something else later. Plus, I had the, you know, the retreat for this week, and I had made all kinds of plans. And, oh, you know, I did a lot of stuff got a lot of stuff and so anyway yeah I'm real sad about that I really am but uh, cruises from now on baby I see why they do cru why Mikey from crochet uh, um, Mike from uh, Mikey just call him Mikey I I watched him from the very oh way before I ever got on YouTube you know as a podcaster and uh I really watched a lot of things that he did, and Fiber Spider, and um, um, God, there were so many. And then I found, um, then I found uh, other uh, Chevy and uh, Crafty um, Canadian Crotcheter, and all the, and lots of them that have left. There were so many that we followed early, early on years ago, and I mean years ago, maybe 10 years ago, 10, 8 years ago. And uh, a lot of them have just disappeared or no longer doing podcasters. So now they have a lot of young people. It's good that they can take over for his old folks, or for me. I shouldn't speak for everybody, but uh, not what I used to be. So anyway, I'm going to say toodles, baby. Toodles, toodles, toodles. Just lost one of my my letters. But I want to thank everybody for everything. Y'all are great. Love it. Love it. Greatest thing ever happened to me was finding you guys. Just want you to know that. All right, I'm going to say goodbye. Have a great weekend. I'm Hopefully that I will. I, don't know, I guess the girls aren't going to come down tonight. But I know they're coming up tomorrow. So hopefully I can clean up this mess before they get here. <laughs> okay, everybody, take care. Have a great weekend. And I will see you on the next video.